So hi everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I am home today by myself, but I don't know how long before somebody comes through the door. You know how that is. Now my house is like Grand Central Station. And I'm actually upcycling my sweater. Okay, I was gonna give it away, and then I decided I've made one, two. Three hats, you know, this is for the little baby, but you know what I mean? I'm going to, and I'm doing this one, and I'm using every part of the sweater. Now, the two arms I'm going to use as leggings. I'll do that later. But I'm going to take the last hat, and I took the band from the bottom of what was left, and I'm going to make a little clutch hat. And I'm going to um, use um, glue. Okay, because I tried every glue that I could try. I don't know. I've got to get out at some point today or next week or next year or whatever and, um, you know, get my glue and everything in and, um, you know, get the glue on. And so I use, first I use the hot glue gun. I've never liked these. I've got a bunch of them, and I don't like them. But then I used I used the March Podge on this. Okay, I needed some material glue, and I had some, but it wouldn't come out and play, and I didn't feel like playing with it. So I'm rubbing the glue in. And I'm going to turn this over very carefully because I don't want to get glued with it and start gluing it onto the bottom. How was your day today? Mine was good. I'm actually going to come back on and I'm going to do the... Um, Um, apple uh, vine apple cider vinegar how to make it um, as you know I had did the vanilla bean and you can actually get that vanilla bean for me I'll put um, my site up there oh crap I got some on the paper no well, let's not lose to the paper let's, tip, let's cut this off mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I might need a little bit more glue. It doesn't seem to want to. Yeah, it's, it's, it's adhering. It's just needs a little bit on this end. So I'm using my March Podge glue. I find that March Podge is good for anything. So I've decided to upcycle. I, I actually, like I said, last winter was a terrible winter for me. You know, my arthritis and everything was bothering me, and it was really cold and everything like that. And I just decided that this winter was not going to be the same as last winter, that I was going to make projects and I was going to do it. And as a matter of fact, when I did the vanilla bean one with the singing dog vanilla, I emailed them a copy of it, and they um, actually made me one of their official spokespersons. So they're going to send me a bunch of um, of um, I can't talk into chew bubble gum. You know that. So they're going to send me a bunch of different things to um, try on the the um, the YouTube channel and the Blab channel, and. Um, so this is what happens. So I've upcycled this. Okay. And for those of I would went to to sign up for my yoga class, and it's right down the street. I have never been in seventh heaven in my life. Okay. But like I said, for me, sometimes driving is not easy. So this is the upcycled one. This is what it looks like right now. When this dries. Okay, and then we'll try the other side. But I've already made with the upcycled sweater. I took a sweater that was a V-neck, okay, and I made three hats, 
just with my first with my glue gun. What's the one with the, with the glue gun? Oh, the one that I sewed. Okay, this and I'm going to actually sew this on the side now because that's you know put some design in it and sew it on the side. And now to be perfectly honest with you, this will fit a little baby. Just I think it may be my little two year old granddaughter. I don't know because she's got a lot of hair. And then here's the other one. That's the bigger hat. And here's the other one. This one's going to be. This was the back of what was left of the sweater that I cut out. So this will be like a little cloche. So um, when this is done, this will fit somebody's head, I'm sure. And then um, we'll go from there. But um, you don't have to throw your sweaters away. And I've seen it a couple of times, and I kept saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I said, you know what, I'm going to try it and see what happens. And it actually you know, is happening. And it's nice because there was some sweaters that I have that I can't wear anymore because they're either too small or just they're not tattered or anything. Because even then you can take the tattered one and take whatever is the left of it and make something of it. You know what I mean? So, you know, you don't throw things away. And I believe in recycling. I recycle to the fifth power. I try not to throw anything away unless I absolutely have to. And that's where the... um the apples came in because I'm getting tired of paying that price for um, apple cider vinegar. I don't know about you all, but, you know, this is getting kind of ridiculous. And, you know, I'm vanilla and all that other kind of stuff. And I sell it. You know, I'm an herbalist. So, you know, I said I've made it before. But, of course, you know, when you're working and stuff, you know, you have to do what you get to do. So you don't have time for all that. At least I didn't because I was working. You know, I was at the school. I was as a counselor, you know, I was teaching at the college and everything. I was at my church. I mean, I was just really busy. I have decided since I retired to spend some of my life doing the things that I started doing when my children are small and liking it and i have more access to things because i can get a lot of things on the computer so that's what i'm doing so anyway this is it this is what the part of it right now so it's got a glue it's got to stay down so it can glue and once it is glued then we're going to put it together so i'm going to come back and um once it's it's going to take about an hour or so to dry so i'm going to come back and then once i do that i will show you how to glue it again and then what i would say would be to stitch it it's like i said i'm actually making knitting some some slippers and i will actually i don't know so put back put in let me give you my email address and email me if you want me to do a little, a basic knitting, because knitting for me, because of the arthritis and because of the stroke, okay, I'm very slow now. I was so really fast, but I'm slow enough that I can actually show you the basic, you know, skills. Now, my mother was very skillful. She could knit and crochet, and she did the most beautiful sweaters. I'm a basic knitter, okay? I can knit, I can do some stitches, and I did a blanket of various squares of them and that was really pretty and i will actually take and go one day and take a picture of it and put it on youtube and it will be um on um you know you'll see the picture of it and i'm going to do another one for my granddaughter just asked me the other day how come all the other grandchildren have them and i don't and i'm like okay you and your sister don't so i'm going to put my um email up And um, also, I think I will put my YouTube up there as well. And that way you can go on the YouTube and you can see the different things that I've done. And um, you know, you can go and learn and look. And then you can also comment in the box there what you want to see me do and what you want to have me do because um this has actually become quite entertaining for me anyway you know and um you know i'm just hoping that you know it grows 
I've got a lot of sponsors. I've got a lot of things to do. So I've even gotten some of the cultural people, the culture, the people that make cheese and other things, sell cheese and other things. They've sent me some samples. So, you know, I'm going to make some cheese. Things like I said that I did when my kids were little. And actually, I think what I'm going to do this summer is, um, and I might try one in the spring for some reason or other, and I don't know why. Okay, this one little end corner right here is not having a good time staying. So we'll see. But um, for some reason, I think I might, because they're out in April or April, either April. I got to look at the schedule. See, I don't keep the schedule anymore because I'm not at the school anymore. But anyway, moving right along. So that's that for now. Okay, so when I come back, when this dries, okay, I will show you how to put it together. Okay, and then, like I said, if you look at this, let me just see this one. If you flip it over, this is the side that I glued. Now, I'm probably, I'm not sure whether I'm going to stitch it on the inside or whether I'm going to stitch it on the outside again, but I will stitch it again just to make it look and stay and, you know, be reasonable, okay? So that they can fold it up or they can wear it like that. And like I said, the two arms that were in there, okay, um, I will make leggings. So I'll show you how to do that as well. You can get a sweater. You can get whatever and you can do this this stuff with it and then you're not throwing things away and you're not i don't know about you and it's not like i don't have money to buy things or anything like that even even though but i like doing things like that and i've always liked doing things like that and i've always liked recycling and everything like that and i think we're in a world where everybody you know just likes to buy a bunch of new stuff and stuff like that. And I like to always see what I can do with, with other stuff. Now that I'm retired, you know, it, it's just much more fun. I can either sit home and feel sorry for myself because I had the stroke. So I had to retire three years earlier, or I can sit home and I can reinvent myself. So that's what I'm doing. I'm reinventing the wheel. So anybody that wants to watch the wheel turn, then, you know, I'm welcome. And by the way, hi, Miss Laughs. How are you? Okay, I see that Miss Laughs has joined me. Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing good. Um, but I'm going to come on. I'm not going to come on every day, so kind of be prepared. But And I don't have a set time. I will have a schedule. It probably won't be up until um, – I probably won't pick the times until maybe next month because my daughter is getting an operation. So it's tomorrow. So it's and because I'll have her two kids, you know, um, it's got to be around her and her getting well and and everything like that. And, um, you know, but hey, again, you know, also getting some more camera equipment and everything like that. But I'm in it. So I think that this is going to come out really nice. You know, and the thing about it is, okay, you know, you can do these and you can give these as gifts and you can embellish them with ribbons and glitter. And I mean, because I have a headband and I'm going to make a bunch of those that has a bunch of glitz on it. And all of a sudden, okay, I had to do this in my old age. I've started to like glitter and sparkle again. Okay, but I think it just adds, it pops. It makes it pop. It. You don't have to have a whole bunch of, I'm not, I don't like glitter. I like the little rhinestones and things actually, and some of the little sequins and things. The glitter I don't like because it's a mess. I hate glitter actually, but I like it when somebody else uses it. But I've seen a couple of things that I think are really pretty. What I'm going to do, I believe in August is actually have a Christmas in August week where once I have, you know, get my feelers back again, I'm going to make a whole week of just different things every day, something that you can start making things for Christmas. Christmas, you know, 
came and went. And because of my, my, my husband had his operation, I got sick. You know, my daughter had been sick. Everybody got sick all at one time. So everything that I had scheduled for Christmas is now being done now. Okay. So bear with me, but you know, if you're a preparer, like I am, you know, I mean, my girlfriend had me laughing. Well, she's an associate of mine. When she put on the email, you know, she said the day after Christmas now starts fit for next Christmas. So, you know, but again, you know, when you're canning and you're, you're preserving things like, you know, I want to make some jelly with you and things like that. I just want to get into the feel of already doing it. I already do it. So why not share it with you? So that being said, I'm going to leave now. Um, and I will be back and look for me and share if you like it, you know, when you get it into YouTube, share it and like, share and subscribe, of course. And um, I will talk to you soon. God bless you. And thank you so much for watching. All right. Bye-bye.